Why the range of the Boeing 777-200LR was too long The Boeing 777-200LR is one of the longest range aircraft in the world at 8,555 nautical miles or 15,843 kilometers, even longer than the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 747. But despite being ahead of its time and destined to operate incredible routes, the aircraft never really became successful because of its long-range focus. The Boeing 777-200LR was a further advancement to the Boeing 777-200 aircraft, a step down from the bigger and more popular Boeing 777-300. Boeing envisioned the aircraft to be configured to carry 301 passengers and three cabins, with 16 in first class, 58 in business class and 227 in the economy cabin. The aircraft could fly up to 440 in a single class dense cabin configuration to a range of 8,555 nautical miles or 15,843 kilometers thanks to its impressive fuel capacity. The aircraft also had the advantage of only two engines compared to its rival and similarly ranged Airbus A340-500. Whilst the latter could operate over remote oceans thanks to ETOPS restrictions, the 777-200LR burned far less fuel. On paper, the aircraft was perfectly designed to fly from New York to Singapore and many other long-haul destinations, and perhaps even the Sydney to New York route that Qantas is trying to fly today. However, despite early sales to a few airlines, only 60 of the type were ever actually built, with one order still unfilled today to Turkmenistan Airlines. The Boeing 777-200LR is an amazing aircraft, but in real life it failed to live up to expectations. Why is that? The main reason is its very well-known design feature, its long range. The aircraft tackled the problem of long-haul international routes by filling the aircraft with big fuel tanks rather than highly efficient engines and aerodynamics. Big fuel tanks mean that the aircraft is not only heavy to fly, but thanks to rising fuel prices, also rather expensive to operate. Airlines who had the type found that they had trouble starting ultra-long-haul routes due to the amount of fuel required and relegated the aircraft to smaller, less dense, shorter routes. As the aircraft was not as cheap to operate on shorter routes as the Airbus A330 or later the Boeing 787, airlines who had not ordered the type were less inclined to purchase it. Then, when the Boeing 787-9 and Airbus A350-1000 were created, both have excellent ranges that are in the ballpark of the Boeing 777-200LR, but with a much reduced fuel burn, Boeing found itself with a white elephant project. Essentially, airlines that want to operate long-haul routes might as well order an aircraft that can also efficiently fill medium routes as well, focusing on less fuel burn per seat over bigger fuel tanks. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.